So I've got a USB ammeter here and a lot of people are asking me lately what USB ammeter I use. And it was actually something that was mentioned on Discord earlier on today. And people are a little bit confused about the ammeter that I use and also how I allow that USB ammeter to give the console 15 volts. And the ammeter I use is a UT658 dual. So what that means is it's got a USB-C port. So you've got USB-C in. As you can see here, the USB-C port is a male. And obviously that would normally have to go into a USB plug. So what I do is I use a USB-C to USB-C coupler. And that allows me to basically have it away from the plug. So I haven't got to have it right by the wall. It means I haven't got to lean over. It means I can you know, show it on the screen, show what I'm seeing and things like that. So that's how that works. And then the output side is a USB Type-C as well. It has got USB Type-A, but uh, you know you have to use the USB Type-A for that. So I've got another extension lead just for the Type-A. If you have a Type-A input, then you have to have a Type-A output. If you have a Type-C input, then you have to have a Type-C output. It sounds confusing, but it's not, honestly. Uh, then I've just got a short USB-C cable there. Uh, obviously, we don't want it too long. So that's that. And then for the actual power distribution, I use a Ugreen USB-C 65 watt power brick. So I'll just show you that. And I'm not advertising these. This is literally just to give people information on how I handle the power delivery side of things. Because on a Nintendo Switch especially, it needs to negotiate 15 volts. And it won't negotiate 15 volts straight away. The console needs to talk, talk to the power brick and then the power brick needs to supply the voltage. So we use this. This is a Ugreen Power Delivery Fast Charger. Uh, it's the CD224. Like I said, this isn't any kind of review or anything like that, but this is a really, really high quality bit of kit. Uh, these are around about £40, I think, and you've got three USB-C ports and then a Type-A port as well. And the USB-C ports, like I said, it's 65 watt total. And what you can get is you can get USB-C3 output, uh, actually, I'm reading these backwards. So USB-C 1 and C 2, so that's the top two ports, you can get 5 volts at 3 amps, 15 volts at 3 amps, 9 volts at 3 amps, 20 volts at 3.25 amps, and that gives out a total of 65 watts. So it's only 65 watts total shared between the ports. USB-C 3, USB -C 3 is 5 volt 3 amp, 9 volt 2 amp, uh, 12 volt 1.5 amp and 18 watt max on number three. So you just use that for something like your phone or something like that. And USB A, you've got 4.5 volts at 5 amps. You've got 5 volts at 4.5 amps, 5 volts at 3 amps, 9 volts at 2 amps, and 12 volts at 1.5 amps for a total of 22.5 watts. And the total power output is 65 watts between all of the ports. So that's how I handle the USB power delivery. It works on MacBooks, laptops, phones, Nintendo Switches, etc, etc. Uh, it's a really good piece of kit and uh, definitely well worth the investment. And then obviously I'll just use some normal uh, USB Type-C to Type-C cables. That also powers my dock as well for the Nintendo Switch. And then I also use a Thunderbolt breakout cable, so male to female, that goes into the dock and then that allows me to pull the dock over to the main blue mat without having to move it. So that's how I do it. So hopefully that is a little bit of information which is going to come in handy to you.